When I first start my career, I used to copy and paste code from Stack Overflow. It was quick, it was easy, and it felt like I was on the fast track. But here is the twist. I was building a castle on the sand. I didn't really understand why this code is working. And if something goes wrong, I will start scratching my head and staring on the computer screen. This was my version of Voodoo programming. And definitely it's a bad practice and you should avoid it. Voodoo programming is when developer use code from others without really understanding how it works. It's like copying someone else's homework. And if you do this practice, it will be really hard for you to solve the code or write new code on your own. Voodoo programming is when developer use code from others without really understanding how it works. To be honest, for me, it's a big shift from copy coder to problem solver. It's a game changer for me. Good habits can make you, and at the same time, bad habits can break you. I'm a firm believer that habits play a major role in your success. Let me share a second bad habit that can harm your programming career, especially if you're a newbie developer. Cargo cult programming. When I was first started coding, I fell into this trap without knowing it. I was eager to create cool things, so whenever I came across a new tool or a piece of code that seems to do what I wanted, I just grab it without a second thought. It's like collecting shiny things without knowing their purpose or value. I remember working on a project and start thinking to use a library. Why? Because so many people in the industry was using it at that time. Without knowing what it's doing and what value it can add to my project. It was like trying to fit a square pack into a square one. Without knowing anything and it make my code free. And this experience taught me a very valuable lesson. It is not just about using what everyone else is using. It's about understanding why you're using it and how it fits into your work. That's when I realized the importance of stepping back and asking one question. Why I am using this and what value this tool or this coding practice can add to my existing project. It changed the way I approach coding forever. Making my project not just flashier but stronger and more reliable. Let me define once again what exactly Cargo Cult Programming is. Cargo Cult Programming is when developers adopt certain coding practices, techniques or tools simply because they have seen others use them without fully understanding why or how they work. This approach can lead to inefficient and fragile code. And the third is bad naming. You might think picking names for variables, class or functions is a minor thing, but it has a huge impact. When names are confusing or just bad, it makes it hard for everyone, including you, to understand what the code does later on. Not only it slows you down, but also it will make it harder for you to work with others. So choosing clear and meaningful name is really a game changer. It's easy to read your code and easy to maintain in long run. Using clear names help everyone in your team to get idea of a big picture, so they can understand the code without having to dive deeper into the code to understand every little details. Plus, good naming can actually reduce the need of extra comments or explanation. If a function is named Calculate Total Score, you instantly know what it does without needing a comment to explain it. So, think of good naming as your contribution to making the coding world a better, more understandable place. This will benefit not only your colleague, but also you when you revisit your work. And the next is low quality or unreadable pull request. In the early days of my coding journey, I struggled. Every time I pushed a pull request, aiming to contribute and speed things along, I ended up doing the opposite. My pull request, what a mess. Motivation, I have it. Clarity, not so much. And I learned this a hard way. Rushing to push out pull requests without considering their clarity or quality. My approach needed an update. I began treating pull requests like pitches. They needed to be clear, understandable, and professional. Focus on clarity and quality. My contributions now smooth the path for those behind me. And here is the bottom line. Color is more than logic. It's a communication. Quality pull requests are not just nice to have. They are essential. They set up the tone for collaboration and success. And the next is generic error message in exception handling. In a tech world where speed and efficiency are paramount, I used to follow a common practice displaying a generic error message like an error occurred in the code. It seemed harmless, right? A quick way to show a generic message. But not really. Let me explain. Let me share an incident. There's a minor bug but huge impact. The root cause? 
जनरली कर रहे हैं एंड द फनी पार्ट इन द एंटायर कोड बेस्ट दे आर हैविंग द सेम एरर मैसेज एर अकर्ट दिस इज ए बैड प्रैक्टिस एंड लेट मी शेयर हाउ यू शुड हैंडल दिस प्रैक्टिस द की इज टू प्रोवाइड स्पेसिफिक एक्शनेबल एर मैसेज दैट कैन गाइड यू स्ट्रेट टू द हार्ट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इमेजिन द डिफरेंस इट वुड मेक इट इंसर्ट ऑफ वेग मैसेज एर एर अकर्ट यू सिस्टम कैन से फेल टू कनेक्ट टू द डेटाबेस दिस लेवल ऑफ डिटेल्स मेक द टास्क वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉर हेयर इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग on the developer environment try to show straight forward error messages why because developers are still working on that and they can fix it quickly but on production show user friendly messages for example on the production a user can see a message like we are having trouble processing your request please try again later meanwhile the detailed error log should capture the exact cause such as database connection timeout and the next is writing overly clever code sometimes coder try to show off by writing overly clever code they pack everything into a single line or use complex text that only a few understand while it might look impressive at first this approach often makes the code hard to read and even harder to maintain think about it if you are the only person who can understand your code then how other can contribute to the same code base and the worst part let's say you came back from vacation and you don't understand your code even coding is not about how smarter you are coding is about solving a problem in a simple and clean way this means you should write code that is easy to understand easy to read and easy to maintain not only by you but by others good code is clean simple and most importantly understandable by everyone let me illustrate overly clever code in an example i will use c sharp programming language first i will show you a version of code that might be considered clever but difficult to understand at a glance then i will show you a simple and more readable alternative in this example the complex calculation method perform a calculation on an array of numbers in a single line for each number if it's even it adds the square root of the number to the result if it's odd it adds the cube of the number while this code is concise but it's hard to read hard to maintain especially by someone who doesn't know exactly what the logic is now let me show you a very simplified version In this simplified version the logic is broken down into more digestible pieces. The use of clear if else structure within a for each loop makes it obvious what the code is doing at each step. This version is much easier to read, understand and maintain. And the next is not completing projects. Not finishing your projects is really a road block. It really slows down how much you learn and keeps your portfolio from growing. The habit is a huge setback for moving your career forward. and when you complete a project it tells lots of things it shows you are stick with something overcome challenges and bring ideas to life so every time you think about leaving a project halfway remember finishing is where the real growth happens it's not just about adding other projects to your portfolio it's about becoming a more skilled and determined developer and next is ignoring version control best practices not using version control in the right way can really mess things up it really turns coding into a chaos and makes working together super hard imagine trying to figure out what's changed fixing mistakes or combining code without bumping heads it's a headache this bad habits stop you from keeping track of what is happening sharing tasks and keeping your work safe so definitely it's a big thing because source code is the only thing that like organization care so it's really good idea to avoid all these bad practices and the next one is use of single letter variables many new coders use this bad practice and they use single letter variable name one of the most common single letter variable name is i and also sometimes j remember you don't have to improve yourself in thousands of areas you just need improvement of 1% in one area and you can start it today there are only four small coding habits that you can use today and they will change your coding journey forever here's a link and thanks for watching